Keep It Simple Phone Tech here with another installment in the basic series and this time we are going to talk about the menu button and the menu icon. So let's start by talking about the menu button. Now first of all the menu button is a dying breed. In fact I think unless you have an older phone going back maybe two years or older an older smartphone you probably won't even see a menu button a dedicated menu button on your phone like what we have here in front of us so let's just take a look at it here this is the menu button forgive that light there let's get it out of the light so we can show you that a little bit more clearly there we go that's the menu button for Samsung the menu button always on the left side of the home button Whereas any other Android manufacturer, they would put the menu button on the right side of the home button. Now that we have an idea of location, let's talk about what the menu button does. Well, depending on the screen that you're on, it's going to provide you with a menu or a list of options. We're on the home screen here, so let's just show you this example. When I press on the menu button, you'll see a menu of options. The options pertain to the screen that you're on. So here I am on the home screen and the options that I have here, they all pertain to the home screen. Now we're in the text message application and if I press on the menu key, I will get options that pertain to text messaging, like composing a text message. In this option, in this case, I have an option for searching through text messages if I had any on this phone and then settings specific to the text message application. Now not every screen or every application on your phone is going to have any options available when you do press on your menu button. So let's just show you an example of that right now. I'm going to, from the home screen, press on the Google Play Store application where you can go for Android to get or download your applications. When I press on the menu key or menu button from here, you hear a noise you'll see light up and nothing happens. So again, the menu key or menu button provide you a list of options depending on the screen that you're on or depending on the application that you're in, but it may not work on every screen. So if you press on it and nothing happens, then you just don't have a menu or a list of options. Please do keep that in mind that if you're pressing on the menu button on a specific screen within an application and it doesn't work it's not that the menu button is no longer working it's just that that particular screen that you're on doesn't have any options for you okay so that is the menu button and again that's for older phones older android phones specifically again if it might have been on windows phones but i don't think it was um, but regardless nowadays you're not going to really find a menu button anymore. Again, it's been replaced by what's called the recent apps button, which we will talk about in another video in the basics series. Let's talk about now the menu icon, which is still present and probably not going anywhere anytime soon. Okay, so the menu icon, it's the same concept as the menu key, except the menu icon is application based. So you're going to find it depending on the application that you're in, whether you're in Google Chrome, in Facebook, Google Play Store, etc. So let's talk about, in general, what the menu icon looks like, as well as its location. All right, so we're in Google Chrome. Forgive that glare. Let me go ahead and slide that over a little bit, maybe to cut off some of that glare. But the menu icon, what it looks like, it's similar to the menu key. For the most part, you're going to find it looking like three little dots stacked up. Sometimes it'll be three lines stacked the top of each other going vertically. But for the most part, the menu icon is going to be three dots going up and down. In the case of Windows, it may actually be three dots going horizontal, left to right. And we'll, we'll take a look at that here in just a moment. But what the menu icon does, same function as the menu key, and that when you press on it, it's going to give you a menu or a list of options pertinent 
to the application that you're in. We're in Google Chrome, and so when I press on it, it's going to give me options for Google Chrome. We have a Windows phone in front of us now, and just wanted to show you the example of the menu icon on Windows, how it's done. Here's the three dots. Instead of it being in the upper right corner, it's in the lower right corner and instead of it going vertically there it is horizontally but the same function we're in the messages application they call it conversations here on windows but same thing the text message application and when i press on it there is my list of options that pertains to the text message application and finally with her iphone here menu icon same concept again it's going to be application based and so let's just show you Chrome as an example here you'll see that uh, even though it's an iPhone it's on an Android you're still gonna have the exact same menu icon in the upper right corner of the application and when you press on it you're going to get your list of options specific to the application so again the menu icon is application based and so just depending on the application that you're in, if there's a list of options, and again, your phone does not have a menu button, then you'll be able to select the options that pertains to that application when you press on that menu icon. All right, so there you have it. That is the menu button or menu key and the menu icon. So we discussed the locations. We discuss the function of the menu key and menu icon. Again, the menu key or menu button, you're only going to see it on older Android phones. The menu icon, you're going to see it on, on pretty much any phone because, again, that is application-based. The menu button is a dedicated button on the phone. The menu icon is application-based. So just remember that and then also... It gives you a list of options that pertains to that screen or that specific application that you're in. With that, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. This is Keep It Simple Phone Tech for the Basic Series.